morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling so much better today um, and I thought yeah I'm definitely up for another Charlotte Tilbury tutorial. I know you love them and I love doing them and this one actually popped up on my feed. So do you know what I'm not going to introduce it anymore. I'm going to leave it to the legend Charlotte Tilbury to introduce it to you herself. Okay, so let's get going. Today's cover look that I'm recreating was shot by the incredible genius Mario Testino, styled by the genius Katie Brand, art directed by the fabulous Paul Solomon. Hair was by Christiane and the nails were by Lorraine Griffin. Starring the oh, gorgeous nice. and sensual sexy Emily Ratajkowski. That's right, everyone. I am going to be Emily Ratazowski. I feel like that programme, what was it, stars in their eyes. Today, Matthew, I'm going to be Emily Ratazowski. I hope I've pronounced that right. So let's get going, shall we? I'm so excited. I'm now going to apply my lip magic lip balm to the lips. It's so important to. Now, she doesn't have lip magic lip balm anymore. And actually, she hasn't sold it ever since I've been into her. Like, what, buying her stuff? And so, yeah, she no longer sells anything lippy. I don't know why, because it sounds amazing. It's got um, propolis in it, which is an amazing ingredient. Um, and I'm not just saying that to sound like Charlotte Tilbury, but um, it helped me to really recover after surgery. I had a really bad scar um, after some abdominal surgery and propolis just was brilliant at helping me to recover. So it's a shame it doesn't exist, but I have got instead Lanolips, which is brilliant. Really good lip product. Um, it's just pure lanolin, basically. No nasties, no perfume, nothing. So I'm just going to put that on. I might have to wipe the excess off because it's very, very greasy, um, which I will do in a minute once it's sunk in. Otherwise, the lipstick won't take at all. OK, let's move on. To prep and prime the lips before you're applying a fabulous lipstick. And it's amazing this lip balm because it's got the magical ingredient propolis inside it, which literally makes it. Why don't you sell it anymore then? Cashmere. Next, I'm going to apply Wonder Glow. This is an infamous award winning, along with my Magic Cream, an award winning product. It has a thing called fluorescent core in it, which soft focuses lines and Wonder Glow Start going on? Off by applying my Magic Foundation. Oh, God, you suddenly skip forward to your foundation. Right, okay. Putting some Wonder Glow on. And she is look, making me look a bit glowy this morning. I just wish it did that once I had the foundation on, Charlotte. And put some on my neck. Okay, let's get going. And now you want me to put magic foundation. Let's get that to the ready. My magic foundation to the ready. And the brush that she keeps going on about, honestly. On Emily, and it's just so beautiful. It's got three magical ingredients as magic foundation. It has Laracil, which sort of tightens pores and makes the skin feel feel really elastic. And it's also got supercharged vitamin C, which is amazing because it really kind of gets rid of it's age, it's sort of reversing in terms of any kind of age spots. It gets rid of age spots. Oh, we it love that. It's amazing with any kind of acne or sebum. It stops the production of sebum. And then it's also got um, these hyaluronic filling spheres, which are really amazing because when you apply this foundation, it actually plumps out your lines. So, oh, we need some plumping. Unbelievable coverage and makes you feel like you're wearing absolutely nothing on your 
your skin. I'm using my Magic Complexion brush and this really is amazing how it, when you put foundation on it just makes it so quick and easy because it distributes the foundation so beautifully all over your skin and it just buffs it into the skin to really give you that flawless, poreless finish. But it also molts, Charlotte. It does also molt, but it is a good, it is a good brush, but it molts. You get bits of hair and then you have to... That's because it's real hair brush. And it tickles your face. Now, she's going to use her magic mini miracle eye wand. And guess what? I've run out. I've still got serum in it. But I'm going to have to use instead... I'm going to have to use the retoucher. Um, I have to get some more of this. Right. Let's put the serum on. And on the other side, it's got a light reflecting cream, which literally bounces out the light that is sort of gathered in those kind of sockets beneath the eyes that pull your eyes down and make you look exhausted. I'm now going to use... Right, hang on, hang on, Charlotte. Just stop me there. Okay, let's see if there's a tiny remnant left on here. I don't think there is, but we can hope... No, it's gone. It's gone. The actual brightener always runs out before the serum. So, still got plenty of serum left. But I will have to use your retoucher instead, Charlotte. And she's dab she was dabbing this in with her fingers. And I do think it's probably the best way. Didn't want to blend that this morning. Let me try this little trick. I know it's not going to be as good as the the min mini miracle I want. My eye looks very red there this morning. Probably from all the nose blowing. Okay. And now she is going for the eyelash curlers. My life changing eyelash curlers and get right into the root, clamp and then lean back and hold for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to... The reason she says to lean back, it's the same thing as actually moving the eyelash curler up. It's just to give you a better curl. Ooh, that worked well. The trick is to get as close as you can to the bottom and most people don't get close enough because they're afraid of pinching their eyelid so it is a bit of trial and error I keep meaning to get those um, they've got half ones in MAC and they're brilliant because they grab the the outside corners really well Okay, so now what is she doing now? Apply my colour chameleon in amber haze. It's amazing this because you literally get this sort of gorgeous, smoky, sultry, beautiful eye. Okay, my amber haze. And you can see this has been well used as well. I do use all my stuff. Now I'm going to blend it with my fingers, which is what she does in the tutorial. It is so easy, these colour chameleons. And if you go on a site and you put in, if you've got blue eyes, just put in blue eyes 
or colour chameleon blue eyes and it will come up with the suggestions. She suggests two for each eye colour and this is the eye colour, this is the suggestion for brown eyes. Um, although she uses it on other people but um, it's a suggestion for brown eyes for the evening and the one in the day which is called dark pearl I would never have bought it in a month of Sundays had she not suggested it was for good for brown eyes and yet I have used two of them it's just such a flattering shade and yet I would never ever have thought it I'm going to try and just put a little bit up there I don't know if this is going to actually accentuate that puffiness or that's why I don't want to go too high accentuate the puffiness or actually um, hide it I think that'll do I don't want to go any higher right next Charlotte In just seconds I mean it really is it's like minute makeup this it's ridiculously easy eye makeup. Even my five-year-old son could do this. As a final touch on the eyes, I'm going to use my infamous rock and coal eyeliner in Barbarella Brown. She does quite a thick line of this, but she gets very close to the lashes as well. And also what I noticed in this video, is she doesn't do that flick method where she puts it there and then um, she kind of pulls up. She pulls it up like this, so I'm going to try it. I don't know whether this is going to work. But we shall see. Mm, not bad, not bad. Mm. Trick with this, guys, is to sharpen it straight before, which I did today. Also, because it doesn't have preservatives in it. But as I mentioned in another video, I kept getting sore eyes and um, I discovered it was because it doesn't have preservatives in it. That's not been worked too badly actually. I just watched her doing that and thought I wonder if that will work. So instead I just kind of pulled it up. And it's not too bad. I'll tidy up a bit later. But I don't know, that's not too bad. Okay. Perhaps that one's not as... Thick on the outer corner. No. Never mind. Okay. Next. So I go all the way along the lash line, going Jeez. right into the lashes. And then as I get three quarters of the way along, I'm just going upwards and out to give that kind of feline flick. And now I'm going to apply my full fat lashes. And it's fabulous. <coughs> I used to literally use five mascaras. Now I have a new one that I hadn't been using. Hopefully you'll see a big difference in this one. Because the other one that I was using before... It was definitely time to throw it. I will say this doesn't clump. It is very good at that. If you really don't want a mascara that clumps, this is very good. It just doesn't give me the effect that my matte one does, but it is very good. And my matte one does clump sometimes, but it curls them a lot more. 
so it lifts my my lashes a lot more than this one which is why I prefer that one will do next Charlotte <coughs> one to lift the lashes one to curl them one to separate add volume length and drama and this does all those five things in one and as a final touch on Emily I use my kiss and tell lip cheat lip liner to right let's just get a bit of this this off because otherwise nothing's going to adhere to it just dab it off okay so she's putting kiss and tell lip liner on She doesn't fill them in. <coughs> she then uses her red carpet red. I'll get that to the ready. And line the mouth. And it's so great using this because it really, it A, matches the lipstick perfectly because as a makeup artist, I always have systems when I do things. So all my lipsticks match my lip liners. Now I'm gonna apply my red carpet red matte revolution lipstick and I'm gonna apply it straight from the bullet and you can see that it's been perfectly shaped to just mimic the shape of a lip brush to make it super easy for you just to apply it with that great precision. And it's called red carpet red because literally this is a lipstick that has been worn on so many red carpets from the Oscars to the Met Ball to Cannes. So there you have it, the sexy bombshell makeup look that I created for Emily Ratchazowski. And oh yes, keep keep viewing guys, because I'm going to do the pose. And now for the alternative GQ cover of... Now, I'm not going to do her alternative, because it's using Nude Kate lipstick, which makes me look like a corpse. Okay, uh, it's fine if you've got paler skin, but for me, it makes me look like I'm dead. So anyway, and I don't need that today. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and um, I'll see you soon. Keep watching for that pose. Hi, I just wanted to come back for a minute and give you a bit of a Tilbury tip. Now, um, don't worry, that uh, photo's coming up very shortly. Now, when um, she has her colour chameleons, each colour chameleon she's got actually represents a pop shade on her eyeshadow quads. And what's really good about it is they make an excellent base for the pop shade because they really make the pop shade stick. Okay, so if you're in to buy a colour chameleon and one of her eyeshadow quartets, you really need to look at this. So I'll give you an example. Here's a colour chameleon in Smoky Emerald, which is a green. And I will just show you that colour. It's a beautiful green there. Now, she has a green palette with a green pop shade, which is here, right? And then you will notice if I take the pop shade on my finger and I dab it onto that green colour, it really makes it stick more than if I just put it straight on my hands. Let me do it on there first. I just hold it up in case you can't see what I'm doing. Right, and then I will just show you it on its own okay or if you do that over powder let me just put a bit of powder on there and then put the pop shade over that it just doesn't stick as well but it really sticks well on top of the color chameleon okay now the reason i wanted to show you this is because i'm going to do a finishing touch to show you how i can really make this eyeshadow pop now the corresponding colour, you could use Golden Goddess or Dolce Vita, but Dolce Vita is slightly more gold. Um, um, and I'm going to dot this over to show you how well her pop shades stick over her colour chameleon. It just gives it 
a great sparkle. Can you see that? The difference. And I'm going to do it on this one. Like that. So if you're buying a a quartet and you want to get a colour chameleon as well, then take a look at the colours of the pop shades and, and correspond it to the shade of the colour chameleon. And then you will get that extra kind of zazzy look that you can have at night because it sticks really well. Okay, now to the photo.